Since its inception, there has never been any infighting in the evil Sky Pavilion. Although the eldest, Yu Xinghai, and the second, Yu Shanrong, are renegade disciples, they are quite lenient to their younger brothers and sisters. After Elder Seven, Si Wuya, handed over the mysterious chest to the eldest brother, he took his leave and returned to his flying chariot. Seeing his return, several subordinates bowed in unison. Master, Wei Zhuiyan's forces have arrived in Tang Zi Town. After hearing this, Si Wuya waved his hand. Keep watching. With that, he turned and headed in the direction of God Capital. Meanwhile, in the residence of General Chan Ming in God Capital, Wei Zhuiyan lay comfortably in a chair, basking in the sun. A soldier approached to report, General, our forces have reached Tang Zi Town. Wei Zhuiyan nodded in acknowledgement. It's just a formality. We'll accompany them on a trip. Taking so few troops and cultivators to the evil Sky Pavilion is akin to seeking death. She likes head-butting rocks. Let her be then. What the general said is very true. However, Lady Moli is now a favored individual by the prince. We can't afford to offend her. Upon hearing this, a hint of displeasure appeared on Wei Zhuiyan's face. I want to see how long she can remain in favor. Her subordinate, Chen Zhu, was once one of the three great archers of God Capital. He recently went to reside by the Sky Crossing River and met his end in the Great Witchcraft Formation. She thought she could hide this from me. A maid standing nearby expressed her surprise. Lord Chen Zhu is dead. He deserved it. I've never been fond of those arrogant individuals, thinking that because of their exceptional archery skills, no one in the world can handle them. Nobody in the palace knows about this yet. You spread the news to the prince on purpose. The soldier, upon receiving the order, hurriedly went to arrange it. The maid, out of curiosity, asked, I'm very curious. Chen Zhu was one of the six leaf divine archers, never missing a shot. Who could have possibly killed him? Wei Zhuiyan frowned slightly and shook his head. I have thought about it too. Unfortunately, there's too little evidence from the battle at Sky Crossing River. The witchcraft formation, once activated, destroys all traces. It's hard to determine the cause. But whoever killed Chen Zhu must be a master. I hope they're not my enemy. General, you are an esteemed minister of the nation, commanding a formidable army. Who would dare to be your enemy? Evil Sky Pavilion's demand for your confession shows they don't take us seriously. Underworld sex leader, Yu Zhenghai, is unfathomably strong. Perhaps we should ally with the underworld sect. Upon hearing this, Wei Zhuiyan raised an eyebrow slightly. The righteous and the demonic have always been at odds since ancient times. Let's not discuss this matter again. Meanwhile, in Tang Zi Town not far from Golden Court Mountain, Wei Zhuiyan's troops and the red-robed cultivators arrived. Lords, Tang Zi Town is close to Golden Court Mountain. We can ascend the mountain today. The leading red-robed cultivator waved his hand in response. No rush. We'll head to Golden Court Mountain tomorrow morning. He then beckoned the surrounding 30-odd red-robed cultivators. They went to an open area. The 3,000 cavalry behind them looked puzzled. What are they doing? They saw the red-robed cultivators accelerating, their feet slowly leaving the ground. They floated as if souls over a field. Emanating from them was a strange aura. All the birds and beasts in the nearby forest were frightened and scattered in all directions. These red-robed cultivators sometimes formed three rows, sometimes one, and sometimes a semicircle, moving towards the direction of Golden Court Mountain. In the blink of an eye, they vanished into thin air. The 3,000 cavalry looked at each other in astonishment and had no choice but to set up camp near Tang Zi Town and wait patiently. At dawn, the group of red-robed cultivators reappeared in the military camp. The leading figure promptly gave the order to set off. Meanwhile, in the evil Sky Pavilion, Lu Zhou checked his mission tab. The progress of opening the box showed April 6th, meaning there were two weapons left to act as keys. He held the emotional ring in his hand, leaving only his senior disciple Yu Xinhai's green jade sword. He slowly stood up and walked out of the main hall. At this time, several disciples were roasting a piglet in the courtyard. Lu Zhou inquired of Little Yuaner, has there been any news from Jian Jian? Little Yuaner shook her head and replied, not yet. He might be busy retrieving his dragon chanting sword. Seeing their master emerge, the disciples quickly bowed in greeting. A female cultivator walked slowly into the courtyard. Master, there's someone from the palace requesting an audience. Lu Zhou asked indifferently, who is it? Upon hearing his inquiry, the female cultivator respectfully saluted. It's someone from Wei Zhuiyan. Lu Zhou took a bite of the fragrant roasted suckling pig. Where is Wei Zhuiyan himself? The female cultivator paused before hurriedly replying. He did not come in person. However, the red-robed cultivator seems to be quite skilled. Little Yuaner volunteered, Master, should I deal with them and send them away? Lu Zhou shook his head, declining her offer, let them come up. Leave it to Ming Shireen. I'm tired. At this moment, Duan Mushing stepped forward. Master, this Wei Zhuiyan is very arrogant. He doesn't take evil Sky Pavilion seriously at all. I request permission to go to God Capital and execute this traitor. Seeing his rashness, Ming Shireen was somewhat speechless. Hua Wudao approached and advised, Third Senior, your bravery is commendable, but God Capital is heavily guarded with many experts. It's said that Wei Zhuiyan has a cultivation level of at least six leaves. Your heavenly first decision technique is also formidable. However, it's always best to avoid recklessness. Lu Zhou called out, come over and eat something. What Old Hua said is right. I've heard you and Old Hua have been practicing together frequently.
frequently recently. This is good. Old Hua's six union seal technique is unmatched in the world. If you can break it, your strength will greatly increase. Duan Mushing's face lit up with joy. I will work hard. Old Hua looked distressed and could only cough a few times. Guiding the younger generation is good, but I'm getting old. We shouldn't spar too frequently. Hearing this, Duan Mushing enthusiastically replied, Ben, instead of three times a day, let's make it twice a day. Hua Wudao's face turned red, followed by another bout of coughing. Lu Zhou intervened. It's best to spar once every three days. Too frequently, and it won't be a true victory. Just then, two red-robed cultivators, led by the female cultivator, entered the courtyard. Behind them, several soldiers were carrying a box. Wu Guan, one of the red-robed cultivators, bowed and said, Wu Guan pays his respects to the pavilion master. Lu Zhou seemed to be lost in thought and didn't pay attention to them. Ming Shireen, understanding the situation, stepped forward to address the visitors. Wu Sheng, Wu Guan, are you descendants of the ten sorcerers? The one on the left, Wu Sheng, respectfully responded, Indeed, my brother and I are descendants of the ten sorcerers. Are you the ones who sealed the cultivation of my junior sister? It's a misunderstanding, Wu Sheng continued. We came to the evil sky pavilion to clarify and resolve this issue. Although we are descendants of the ten sorcerers, we are loyal to the great flame dynasty. Recently, there has been some minor friction between us and the evil sky pavilion. Due to this misunderstanding, our master sent us to apologize. Previously, when our master visited the clarity sect, he happened to seal the cultivation of Mr. Zhao Yu, who was captured by the sex experts. As compensation and to make amends, our master is willing to offer five mystic grade weapons and 10,000 tails of gold. Ming Shireen, seemingly unimpressed, took out his own weapon, the separation hook, mystic grade weapons, and you think that's impressive? Look at this. Duan Mushing, seeing an opportunity to show off, also proudly displayed his overlord spear. The eyes of both Wu Sheng and Wu Guan flashed with surprise upon seeing the two heavenly grade weapons. The evil sky pavilion is truly impressive, casually possessing heavenly grade weapons, Wu Guan commented. Ming Shireen glanced dismissively at the shimmering gold and asked, What is the name of your master? In reality, this information was easily attainable. After several encounters over this period, it was clear that this expert was close to the current second prince and was a favored individual. Our master is Moli, the most powerful sorcery cultivator in the current great flame god capital. Wu Sheng declared with a look of admiration on his face. Little Yuan or couldn't help but retort upon hearing this, the most powerful sorcery cultivator in the world? Keep bragging. I don't believe it. Wu Sheng and Wu Guan glanced at Lu Zhou, quickly changing the subject. What truly matters is the pavilion master's stance. Ming Shireen chuckled. If he personally came, perhaps there would be an opportunity to negotiate. But you two aren't on the same level as our master to discuss matters. Wu Xing hesitated for a moment before revealing, to be honest, a few days ago, Lord Chen Zhu passed away. Master Moli was so heartbroken that he couldn't leave the god capital. Wu Guan added, Moli has been working tirelessly day and night, searching for Chen Zhu's murderer. Once he finds the perpetrator, they will be torn to pieces. Once this matter is settled, Master Moli will personally visit the evil Sky Pavilion. Also, I heard rumors in the palace that someone in the Sky Crossing River region is impersonating the evil Sky Pavilion. It's a bold move. To resolve the conflict with the evil Sky Pavilion, Master Moli has added the imposter to the list of investigation. Ming Shireen remained silent, his mind racing. The sorcery array at the Sky Crossing River and the death of Chen Zhu, one of the three divine archers, were caused by the evil Sky Pavilion. The sorcery array had obstructed their view, and Ding Fanchio had diverted the palace's attention by impersonating the evil Sky Pavilion. In other words, the palace hadn't realized that the evil Sky Pavilion was behind Chen Zhu's murder. Just then, Lu Zhou spoke up. I can let go of the matter regarding Zhao Yu. His disciples looked at him in surprise. Their master's unexpected magnanimity was a stark contrast to his previous demeanor. Wu Sheng and Wu Guan bowed in gratitude. Thank you, Pavilion Master. Our visit to the evil Sky Pavilion also holds another intention. The evil Sky Pavilion is known for its dark arts, and the ten major sects are eyeing you closely. Master Moli truly admires the strength of the evil Sky Pavilion. The Great Flame Dynasty needs strong support now. Why doesn't the evil Sky Pavilion serve the court and bring prosperity to the people? Ming Shireen frowned at this proposition. Are you asking for our allegiance? Not allegiance. Wu Guan clarified. Master Moli genuinely admires the evil Sky Pavilion. We talk of friendship, not allegiance. Moreover, from this point forward, the evil Sky Pavilion can step into the righteous path and be revered by all. No sooner had the words left their mouth, Duan Mushing tightly gripped his overlord's spear and slammed it down in anger. Others might be able to utter such words, but certainly not you too. How many people have suffered because of your sorcery? Only you would know the true count, and you have the audacity to mention righteousness and dark arts? Wu Sheng and Wu Guan were left speechless. Ming Shireen challenged, if you truly wish to benefit the common people, how would you explain the slaughter of innocent civilians around the Sky Crossing River? A frown formed on Wu Sheng's brow, a bad feeling bubbling up in his heart. Does the evil Sky Pavilion know of the events at Sky Crossing River? Ming Shireen stared coldly at him, chuckling. Chen Zhu acted recklessly.
ruthlessly, and our master has already sent him to his end. Upon hearing this revelation from Ming Shireen, Wu Sheng and Wu Guan stood stunned. The evil Sky Pavilion killed Lord Chen Zhu. They tried to compose themselves quickly. There must be some misunderstanding. Chen Zhu had received intel that the evil Sky Pavilion spotted in the Sky Crossing River area was an imposter. Perhaps he confronted the Pavilion Master, and a conflict arose. Although Chen Zhu was a divine archer, he was often impulsive. If he offended the Pavilion Master, he got what he deserved. Ming Shireen smirked mockingly. Your thick skin is truly not an exaggeration. Wasn't it you who just said that whoever killed Chen Zhu should be torn to pieces? Our master is right here. Dare to act on your words? Realizing his slip, Ming Shireen quickly apologized. I misspoke in haste. Master, please forgive me. Lu Zhou seemed unfazed, as if he hadn't heard anything. Wu Sheng, from behind, tried to clear the air. It's all a misunderstanding. I didn't know that Lord Chen Zhu was killed by the pavilion master. I believe the master, being wise and judicious, won't bear a grudge against the younger generation. Listening to this, Ming Shireen spoke with a stern face. You're mistaken. Merely the death of a minor figure like Chen Xu won't satisfy the evil Sky Pavilion. After saying this, he signaled a female cultivator who brought forth an unconscious Yi Tianqin. Seeing the situation, Wu Xing looked somewhat puzzled. Who is this? Xiao Yu, standing beside him, glared coldly and responded, This is the sixth disciple of our master, Yi Tianqin. He hails from the Fish Dragon Village in the Sky Crossing River region. Cold sweat dripped down Wu Xing's face as realization dawned on him. He finally understood the attitude of the evil Sky Pavilion. To be honest, he stammered, the massacre of the Fish Dragon Village was the work of General Wei Zhuoyan. It has nothing to do with Lord Moli. Duan Mushing questioned coldly, so if you say it has nothing to do with it, then it doesn't. Both Wu Sheng and Wu Guan's faces paled in horror, and they quickly knelt down. We were completely unaware of this. If there truly is any involvement, we are willing to atone. We beg for the Pavilion Master's mercy. From their tone, it was evident that the relationship between Wei Zhuoyan and Moli wasn't good. Ming Shireen retorted, You keep insisting that the matters of the Sky Crossing River have nothing to do with your master, yet the port where the bodies were retrieved is protected by a large sorcery formation, with someone as skilled as Chen Zhu guarding it. Do you take me for a fool? Upon hearing Ming Shireen's doubts, Wu Xing hurriedly explained with palpable nervousness, Lord Moli was only following orders. The sorcery formation at the port was there even before the incident at the Fish Dragon Village. It truly has nothing to do with Lord Moli. If I am lying, may I face a terrible fate? At this point, Pan Zhong stepped forward and asked, Why is the master of the descendants of the ten sorcerers called Moli? We willingly follow Lord Moli because of his profound cultivation skills. Since ancient times, the ten sorcerers have been revered as formidable individuals, experts in medical skills, divination, and their sorcery is unparalleled. If you are descendants of the ten sorcerers, why have you become mere lackeys for some? Wu Xing's face turned incredibly grim upon hearing this, but he dared not show any signs of discontent. And who might you be? He inquired. Pan Zhong, confident and unafraid, revealed his identity. A real man doesn't change his name nor his sitting position. I am originally from the Clarity sect, but now, I'm part of the evil Sky Pavilion. Whatever concerns the evil Sky Pavilion is my concern. Upon hearing this, the two men immediately bowed in recognition. So, it's Brother Pan. The title of the descendants of the Ten Sorcerers isn't something to flaunt. As long as we can serve the Imperial Court, it's for the well-being of the common people. Pan chuckled coldly. Well said. I consulted with Sir Four. The area around Sky Crossing River isn't just protected by a sorcery formation. There are traps spanning hundreds of miles along the river. Even a powerful person like Sir Four can be ambushed, let alone ordinary people who have no real strength. When I was in the Clarity Sect, I often heard of commoners dying tragically by the river. How do you explain that? With reverence, Wu Xing replied, the Sky Crossing River often attracts cultivators who disturb the local residents. The sorcery formation has reduced these incidents. There are always two sides to a story. Brother Pan, your views might be biased. Even so, the bodies retrieved from within the sorcery formation are stored in your warehouses. Showing no respect for the dead is a great offense. Aren't you afraid of being struck by lightning when you step outside? Both men looked guilty upon hearing this. We will invite great Buddhist masters to chant and pray for the departed souls, ensuring their peaceful passage to paradise, they said. Pan Zhong laughed heartily, sorcerers inviting Buddhist masters to chant. If the ten sorcerers heard this, they might just die of anger. It's said one shouldn't hit a person in the face. Pan Zhong's words were indeed severe. For Wu Sheng and Wu Guan, the ten sorcerers represented a deep respect in their hearts. Such reverence being insulted was hard for them to bear. We genuinely came to seek peace and have no intention of making enemies. If we have truly offended the evil Sky Pavilion, we are willing to atone. Being astute, Wu Xing bowed directly to Lu Zhou. Lu Zhou then spoke slowly, if you wish to reconcile, it's not impossible. I'm curious, can the bone of the white citizen truly break the limits of life? Wu Xing hesitated before answering, from what we've seen so far, it can't. Then why continue dredging? This matter relates to the palace's secrets. Lord, little you honor, unable to contain herself, brandished her fist in a threatening gesture. Our master is giving you an out and you're still clinging on. Spill about these so-called 
Oswald's secrets already. Lu Zhou's expression remained inscrutable. You can choose not to speak. You can even leave the evil Sky Pavilion unharmed. I never force anyone. After some internal struggle, Wu Xing began to explain, even though this is a secret, it's been 10 years, and we've yet to find a breakthrough. There are rumors that the bone of the white citizen can bestow longevity. This rumor is false. The palace took 10 years to discover that the real entity that can break the life limit is the white citizen Cheng Huang. Cheng Huang, shaped like a fox with horns on its back, has a lifespan of 2,000 years. It's a mythical creature. During the battle at Sky Crossing River, Wei Zhuiyan and the Dark Knight Fan Xiuwen wiped out all the different races around the river. Their true goal was the bone of the white citizen. They later shifted their target to find Cheng Huang. Even Wei Zhuiyan and Fan Xiuwen aren't aware of this. The palace suspects that during that battle, Cheng Huang sank to the riverbed alongside the bone of the white citizen. Pan Zhong, intrigued, pressed further. So you're actually searching for Cheng Huang? And after all these years, you still haven't found it? Wu Xing shook his head in response. If we had found it, there wouldn't have been such misunderstandings today. I've been honest with you. Does your earlier promise still stand, Lord Lu Zhou? Having heard this, Lu Zhou waved his hand dismissively. I always keep my word. You may leave. Both Wu Sheng and Wu Guan quickly bowed and thanked him. Thank you, Lord of the Pavilion. They swiftly departed and only when they reached the protective barrier of Golden Court Mountain did they allow themselves to breathe a sigh of relief. Brother, Wu Guan said, Evil Sky Pavilion killed Chen Zhu. How will we explain our actions to Lord Moli? I have a plan, Wu Xing replied. Without making some sacrifices, how could we make Evil Sky Pavilion let their guard down? The secret of Cheng Huang is a potent piece of information. Everyone knows Ji Tiandao's time is near. If he learns the secret, can you guess his reaction? Wu Guan's eyes widen in realization. Brother, that's insightful. But what about Pan Zhong? It's surprising that he joined Evil Sky Pavilion. Earlier, he spoke disrespectfully and insulted the ten sorcerers. It's infuriating. Pan Zhong, from Clarity Sect, only learned the three in style. After being expelled from his sect due to the activation of his cold affliction, he sought treatment everywhere. White sorcery could have cured his affliction, but he was turned away and thus harbored resentment towards sorcery. It's unexpected that he sided with Evil Sky Pavilion. I won't be at peace until he's dealt with. We should report this. Pan Zhong must die. Wu Xing ordered the 3,000 soldiers to stay put while he, accompanied by a red robed cultivator, walked towards a flatter area. He began making that strange gesture again, which he continued for about an hour. Brother, the communication formation is ready. The red robed cultivator informed. Wu Xing nodded. Let's begin. He then knelt on one knee, showing his respect, and called out, Lord Moli, I have two matters to report. First, Chen Zhu was killed by the Lord of Evil Sky Pavilion. Ji Tiandao has admitted it personally. It's undoubtedly true. As Wu Xing's words fell, a cold chuckle echoed from Moli. Ha, eh, very well. The laugh seemed to be a mix of mockery and self-deprecation, making it hard to discern its intention. Wu Xing seemed accustomed to Lord Moli's unpredictable moods and didn't find it strange. Secondly, Wu Xing continued, I discovered that the sixth disciple of Evil Sky Pavilion, Yi Tianqin, is of the white citizen identity. Thirdly, I informed Evil Sky Pavilion of Cheng Huang's secret in an attempt to make peace. Ji Tiandao's imminent end, if he learns of Cheng Huang, he will desperately search for it. The news is invaluable, and Ji Tiandao will surely believe in our sincerity for peace. We've already laid the groundwork for a large formation five miles north of Tang Zi Town. It will be completed soon. A calm voice from Moli echoed within the magic circle. Proceed as planned then. We must avenge Chen Zhu's death. In the end, I hope Wei Zhuiyan becomes the scapegoat. Wu Xing quickly responded with three affirmatives. He then gave commands to the surrounding red-robed cultivators. Continue setting up the formation. The 3,000 cavalrymen behind looked somewhat bewildered. Should we inform Lord Wei Zhuiyan? They observed that these red-robed cultivators had no intention of returning to God Capital and seemed to be wandering around near Tang Zi Town incessantly. At that moment, in a distant grove, a blue-robed swordsman named Yu Shanrong watched with a faint smile. Interesting. With that, he vanished from the spot. Meanwhile, inside the evil Sky Pavilion, Ming Shireen bowed and spoke. Master, these two are descendants of the Ten Sorcerers. They might have ulterior motives. Pan Zhong nodded in agreement. They're audacious, daring to stir up trouble right under our noses. Duan Mushing also concurred. Fourth brother is right. Little Yuaner, clearly frustrated, swung her fist in the air. Master shouldn't have let them go. We should have captured them and interrogated them just like we did with Fan Xiuwen. They'd spill everything eventually. Why are all of you staring at me? Did I say something wrong? Lu Zhou picked up a book, lost in thought. Do you think I'm unaware that they might have deliberately leaked information? Chen Zhu was one of the three legendary archers in God Capital, and a genuine Six Leaves expert. With Chen Zhu's death, Moli suffered a great blow. How can he simply let it go? Besides, with the matter of Zhao Yu, there's already animosity. With them around, Wei Zhuiyan will never find peace. I believe that although they serve the same master, they are now at odds. It's a situation of when the snipe and the clam grapple, the fisherman benefits. Upon hearing this, Duan Mushing quickly chimed in with flattery. Master's insight is profound. Lu Zhou nodded in satisfaction. He looked around, noticing the absence of Hua Wudao. Where is old Hua? Duan Mushing 
bowed in reply. Old Hua has been resting in the western chamber these past two days due to fatigue. Ming Shireen, remember to retrieve box. Ming Shireen felt slightly embarrassed. Master, the box should be with the seventh junior. If I'm not mistaken, he would go to the first and second seniors. I'm no match for their prowess. I'm just worried they might not want to open the box. Lu Xiu responded with a calm demeanor. Your seventh junior is a smart man. The disciples were puzzled by this. Smart enough to open the box? Lu Xiu explained. Smart people tend to be presumptuous. Ming Shireen gulped. Are you warning me with that, master? Duan Mushing added another forced compliment. Master's words are wise. I've always thought the same. Ming Shireen quickly added. Master is right. In seven days, I'll retrieve the box from the eighth junior. Two days swiftly passed. Near the Tiger Ridge Gang, a massive flying chariot slowly appeared. Though the flying chariot seemed slow, in a blink, it was hovering above the Tiger Ridge Gang. A subordinate reported, Chief, an unidentified flying chariot is approaching. Upon hearing this, Zhu Honghong jolted awake. Could it be the Orthodox sect seeking revenge? If it truly is the Orthodox sect, I suggest we flee now. Flee? A joke. Would I? The illustrious evil king fear the Orthodox sect? While Zhu Honghong spoke bravely, his body was clearly preparing for flight. A subordinate reminded, the head of the Orthodox sect, Zhang Yuanzhan, possesses a seven leaves golden lotus level of cultivation. Merely seven leaves. I wouldn't bat an eye. However, your suggestion might be worth considering. Which way is the quickest exit? The back mountain. A subordinate quickly replied. Zhu Honghong immediately led them towards the back, but as they reached the entrance, he was so frightened that he felt like he'd wet himself. In the sky, two seven leaves golden lotuses and two six leaves golden lotuses had encircled the entire stronghold. Chief, what happened to you? Chief, hold on. I forgot to bring your pants. Two subordinates hastily supported the trembling Zhu Honghong. A figure flashed from the flying chariot above, appearing on the ground in the blink of an eye. Yu Jinhai's voice followed, eighth junior brother, it's been a while. Zhu Honghong hurriedly approached with a flattering demeanor, so it's the eldest senior brother gracing the Tiger Ridge gang. I thought it was some clueless junior. I was about to show off my power. Yu Jinhai gave a casual smile. Enough, your tricks might intimidate others, but not me. Why is the always busy senior brother come here? As Zhu Honghong finished his question, a subordinate approached. Chief, do you need to change your pants? Annoyed, Zhu Honghong kicked him away. Can't you see? That's my eldest senior brother. Yu Jinhai glanced at his followers. Leave the box and take the flying chariot back. I haven't seen my eighth junior brother in a long time, so I want to catch up. I'll stay at Tiger Ridge Gang for a few days. Hearing this, the four protectors nodded, sat down the box, jumped onto the flying chariot, and disappeared. Yu Jinhai looked at the box, the riddle posed by the seventh junior brother. Zhu Honghong responded with a smirk, so the seventh senior really went to the eldest senior. In my opinion, this box shouldn't be opened. Why bother? If it leads to a blood feud, it's not worth it. Yu Jinhai gazed into the distance, his laughter resonating. Whatever is in that box doesn't interest me. What truly captivates me is this vast world. I don't have such grand ambitions, senior brother. I just want to live a simple life. Eighth junior, if the box contained a heavenly grade weapon, especially the kind you love most, what would you do? Zhu Honghong's eyes lit up, so it contains a heavenly grade weapon, then it should be opened. Such a weapon shouldn't remain hidden. Yu Jinhai glanced at him. Instead of idling, you should be cultivating diligently. Your current level is far from being able to control a heavenly grade weapon. Only after reaching the nascent divinity tribulation realm can one truly wield a heavenly grade weapon. Upon hearing this, Zhu Honghong let out a helpless sigh. The logic senior brother mentioned, how could I not understand? But master only taught me seven layers of the nine tribulations thunderous energy. I'm missing two major layers. Reaching this point was already challenging for me. You can set aside the nine tribulations thunderous energy for now. There are countless cultivation scriptures from renowned sects you can use as alternatives, advised Yu Zhenghai. I don't like those so-called renowned sect scriptures. After practicing, they feel strange and completely unsuitable for me. I prefer the nine tribulations thunderous energy, replied Zhu Honghong. Upon entering the mountain stronghold, Yu Zhenghai made himself at home, heading directly to the throne and sitting down. Eighth junior, you've been working on behalf of the seventh junior all these years, haven't you? Zhu Honghong chuckled. It's just mutual assistance among fellow disciples. After all, you're also a disciple of the evil Sky Pavilion. This small stronghold hardly befits the title of evil king. At that, Zhu Honghong's face took on a wrong expression. Elder brother, it's not by choice. I've been constantly on edge. The last time I went to the Green Jade Altar, I encountered Master. If I hadn't reacted quickly, you might never have seen me again. Why would our elderly Master appear at the Green Jade Altar? Questioned Yu Zhenghai. Zhu Honghong replied honestly, I don't know. The Green Jade Altar is the domain of the Orthodox sect. Weren't you afraid Zhang Yuanchan would kill you? Why would I fear him? Just as Zhu Honghong finished speaking, a subordinate rushed in. Chief, another flying chariot is approaching. It's smaller than the last one and seems to belong to the Orthodox sect. Zhu Honghong anxiously looked at Yu Zhenghai, who remained calm, watching with a playful expression. Let's see how much you've improved over the years. I won't intervene. Upon hearing this, Zhu Honghong felt like crying. Elder brother, if you 
weren't here, I might have already fled. What should I do? If you truly can't win, you can always flee later, reasoned Yu Zhenghai. Taking courage from this, Zhu Honghong loudly ordered, Stand with me, prepare for battle. A nearby subordinate, out of habit, responded, Chief, the back mountain. Quick, frustrated, Zhu Honghong kicked him again. What back mountain? I said prepare for battle. He then waved the flag and swiftly began deployment. Brothers, get into formation. Those without cultivation, step aside. Those in the mystic enlightening realm and sense condensing realm, prepare the traps. Those above Brahma Sea realm, gather immediately. Upon his command, the members of Tiger Ridge Gang shouted and quickly sprang into action. Yu Zhenghai, observing the swift response, nodded appreciatively. For a small stronghold, to have such a reaction is quite impressive. Little eight, I may have underestimated you. Upon hearing this, Zhu Hong Hong chuckled. Elder brother, this is our base after all. Without some skills, we have been taken over long ago. These city defending ballisti are the nemesis of flying chariots. Fire. As he spoke, his subordinates began operating the machinery. The cultivators on the flying chariot changed their expressions and immediately erected a forceful energy shield around themselves. In the blink of an eye, giant arrows soared towards the sky. A pale golden barrier materialized around the flying chariot, blocking the incoming arrows. Then, a robust voice resonated. Zhu Hong Hong, as expected, you're hiding here. You escaped from the green jade altar last time. Let's see where you run this time. Seeing that the giant arrows couldn't penetrate the enemy's defenses, a subordinate anxiously reported, Chief, the ballisti are ineffective. Should we retreat? Silence. Zhu Hong Hong scolded, with elder brother here, we can't let him see us in disgrace. He then shouted, activate the eight directions formation. Following his command, echoing voices came from all around. Heaven, earth, wind, cloud, dragon, tiger, bird, snake, all in position. Activate. In an instant, centering around Tiger Ridge Gang, a huge pale blue circle rose, enveloping the flying chariot in the sky. Seeing this, Yu Xinghai smiled slightly. It seems my eighth junior isn't too dull. The terrain of the Tiger Ridge Gang is indeed ideal for the deployment of the eight directions formation. Xu Hong Hong, elated by the compliment, said, thank you for the praise, elder brother. It's rare for me to receive such commendation in my life. The eight directions formation is a Taoist formation that disrupts the surrounding primal energy and concentrates it in the middle, creating a powerful jet-like force. Any flying chariot that approaches it will crash. Under the influence of the eight directions formation, the primal energy solidifies, forming a massive vortex above the Tiger Ridge Gang. Seeing this, an elder from the Orthodox sect urgently commanded, this is bad. It's the eight directions formation. Get out of its range quickly. Yu Hai casually remarked, if you don't act now and the chariot escapes the formation, you'll waste years of stored primal energy for nothing. The divine court realm is still the divine court realm. Don't hold back. Getting the hint, Zhu Hong Hong stomped his feet with force and, lightning fast, appeared midair. With a single grasp, the vortex filled with forceful energy converged towards him. Taking a deep breath, he shouted, Nine Tribulations Thunderous Energy. In an instant, crackling thunder and lightning intertwined with the forceful energy. Unlike Lu Zhou's thunderous energy, Zhu Hong Hong's Nine Tribulations Thunderous Energy solidified from primal energy, giving the illusion of lightning amidst the forceful energy. Watching this, Yu Xinghai thought, interesting, the eighth junior is maximizing the power of the Nine Tribulations Thunderous Energy with the help of the Eight Directions Formation. Zhu Hong Hong, focusing intently, hurled the lightning dragon-like forceful energy straight at the struggling flying chariot, which was immediately struck. A dazzling explosion of electric force scattered across the sky. Weaker cultivators were instantly electrocuted. As a disciple of the evil Sky Pavilion, how could one with just the Divine Court Realm stand as a dominant figure? The answer was evident. Thousands of Tiger Ridge Gang members watched in admiration, witnessing such an awe-inspiring strike from Zhu Hong Hong for the first time. Their morale and confidence soared as they chanted in unison, Chief's Divine Might. The battle wasn't over. Zhu Hong Hong shouted, Seven Tribulations Heavenly Phenomenon. The sky was immediately filled with forceful energy resembling lightning, targeting the scattered cultivators. The Heavenly Phenomenon is the seventh tribulation among the nine tribulations thunder, and it was the most powerful technique Zhu Hong Hong had mastered to date. Suddenly, a hundred tribulation insight avatar appeared, positioning itself in front of the falling weaker cultivators. The avatar sat on a glowing four-leafed golden lotus, completely blocking the heavenly phenomenon forceful energy. Seeing this, Zhu Hong Hong was infuriated. It's so damn unfair. He had painstakingly stored the primal energy for such a long time, combined it with the eight directions formation to execute his most potent attack, only to have it obstructed by the powerful move of the hundred tribulation insight avatar. Although he felt indignant and wanted to continue, the hundred tribulation insight avatar suddenly vanished. Immediately after, a figure shot through the air, accumulating power in a single fist, shouting, your life is mine. Zhu Hong Hong, drawing from the primal energy of the eight directions formation and converting it into forceful energy, mounted a defense. The elder was Zhang Chunlai from the orthodox sect, not the sect leader Zhang Yuan Zhan. The sound of clashing echoed as Zhang Chunlai's seal collided with the vortex of forceful energy from the 
Eight Directions formation, Zhang Chunlai was slightly surprised, remarking, a divine court realm with such skills, worthy of being a disciple of the evil Sky Pavilion. Xu Hong Hong retorted with disdain, enough with the talk, I didn't see you at the Green Jade Altar last time, I didn't expect you to come forward now, unfortunately, the divine court realm is still just the divine court realm, do you think you can defeat me with the Eight Directions formation? Although Zhu Hong Hong was panting, he was undaunted, challenging, let's find out. As his words resonated, the range of the luminous ring expanded, the alternating half moon black and white circles intensified the glow from all eight directions. Witnessing this, Zhang Chunlai raised an eyebrow, wondering, how can a mere Tiger Ridge gang deploy such a powerful formation? He swiftly scanned the surroundings for a more potent opponent, but found none. Yu Hai concealed his aura, calmly observing the scene. He knew the elders of the orthodox sect weren't fools. Although Zhu Hong Hong, the eighth junior, was weaker in terms of skills and bore the identity of an evil Sky Pavilion disciple, many had tried to kill him over the years, all in vain. Without unique skills, how could he have survived until now, especially with the support of Si Wuya in the background? At this moment, all the surrounding forceful energy converged around Zhu Hong Hong. With the enhanced Eight Directions formation, his aura and energy now equaled that of the nascent Divinity Tribulation realm. Onlookers were astounded. They had underestimated this stout disciple from the evil Sky Pavilion. Zhu Hong Hong, surrounded by thunder and lightning, let out a fierce shout. A torrent of thunderous forceful energy rained down like a downpour, targeting the surrounding cultivators. Seeing the situation, Zhang Chun Lai slightly furrowed his eyebrows. As I said, the Divine Court Realm is just the Divine Court Realm. As he spoke, the Hundred Tribulation Insight Avatar reappeared, but unlike before, it now sat on a five-leafed golden lotus. Witnessing this, Zhu Hong Hong felt his scalp tingle with dread. Who have I provoked now? He wondered. Yu Jing Hai Smer, still choosing not to intervene, thinking, Zhang Chun Lai has concealed his true power. Not bad. He's exploiting the gap in their realms to forcefully break through the Eight Directions Formation's vortex. The primary function of an avatar is to amplify one one's own cultivation level, intimidate opponents, and protect. However, cultivators often prioritize amplification and intimidation. If an avatar is broken, it loses its purpose. Yet, if one can use the gap in cultivation realms to suppress an opponent with an avatar, it becomes unstoppable. With the might of the avatar, Zhang Chunlai appeared in front of Zhu Hong Hong in an instant, declaring, take this palm strike from me. The attack was swift and precise. Zhu Hong Hong couldn't dodge and had no choice but to forcefully wield his primal energy for defense. With a loud thud, the palm struck him squarely, sending him plummeting towards the ground like a cut kite. However, just before hitting the ground, he stabilized himself mid-air. Zhang Chunlai looked on in astonishment. How is this possible? With such a gap in our cultivation levels, that strike should have either killed or severely injured him. Suppressing the turmoil of energy within him, Zhu Hong Hong flashed a grin and patted his clothing. Surprised, old man? I'm wearing the precious Zen robe. The precious Zen robe was impenetrable to ordinary weapons, and could even defend against forceful energy among cultivators. Rumor had it that this robe was a treasured artifact from one of the four great Buddhist temples, the Chosen Temple. How did a disciple from the evil Sky Pavilion get his hands on it? Zhang Chunlai pondered. Regardless, he remained undeterred. Since I'm here, I'm determined to take your life. Gather around him. He commanded the nearby cultivators. Ignore the lesser beings. I've heard this eighth disciple from the evil Sky Pavilion is skilled in escape techniques. Let's see how long that precious Zen robe can protect him. Without the support of the formation, even with the precious Zen robe, Zhu Hong Hong is just a punching bag. How could he possibly compete with me? With those words, a large group of cultivators swiftly encircled Zhu Hong Hong and launched their attack. Seeing the unfavorable situation, Zhu Hong Hong looked desperately at Yu Zheng Hai. Elder brother, I can't hold on anymore. Yu Zheng Hai responded with a light smile. You've done pretty well, cleverly using the formation against a nascent divinity tribulation realm opponent. With that, he lightly tapped his foot and floated into the air. Zhang Chunlai was puzzled. Why is a disciple from the prestigious evil Sky Pavilion bowing and scraping to a middle-aged man? Elder brother, Brother, hurry, implored Zhu Hong Hong. If this continues, I'm afraid my humble base will be destroyed by this old man. Yu Zheng Hai took a calm step forward, comforting, little brother, don't be afraid. Zhang Chun Lai sneered, bluffing again, do you think I'll fall for your tricks a second time? He ordered, capture him, and many cultivators rushed forward upon his command. Yu Zheng Hai, hearing this, was somewhat confused. Fall for it again? Zhu Hong Hong lowered his head in embarrassment as a large number of cultivators began their assault from all directions. Zhang Chun Lai didn't sit idly either. He sent down a massive palm strike from above. Dozens of palm imprints cascaded down with overwhelming force. Yet, Yu Zheng Hai stood still without flinching. He casually extended his palm, performing a rotation, and an unassuming forceful energy emanated from his palm. Within moments, it expanded violently, forming a horizontal forceful energy ripple. The surrounding cultivators were horrified to find they couldn't move an inch. Soon after, the powerful forceful energy ripple spread out, striking them. With a loud bang, their primal energy was rolled back, cutting them in half. Xu Hong Hong watched with an admiring expression. Expression. That's
That's Elder Brother's Great Mysterious Heavenly Seal fused with his palm technique, the Great Mysterious Heavenly Palm. Realizing he was dealing with a formidable master, Zhang Chunlai shouted in retreat and quickly turned to flee. However, it was too late. Yu Xinhai instantly appeared in front of him, blocking his path. Sensing the danger, Zhang Chunlai quickly summoned his Hunter Tribulation inside Avatar. In an instant, a massive golden avatar surrounded and protected him. Yu Xinhai chuckled, I was waiting for your avatar. Without hesitation, he swung his green jade sword with blinding speed. The heavenly grade weapon is the nightmare of all avatars as it can easily breach the avatar's defense. Before Zhang Chunlai could react, along with his avatar, was sliced in two like tofu. Yu Xinhai looked somewhat disdainful at such an opponent. A nascent divinity tribulation realm of the fifth leaf. He's not even on par with my four major guardians. Soon, the sky quieted down. The members of the Tiger Ridge gang stared in disbelief. It was over with just a palm strike and a slash. Who would believe that this was the handiwork of the top disciple from the evil Sky Pavilion? Dealing with a fifth leaf expert so effortlessly, with the situation having ended in a completely dominant manner, Zhu Hong Hong quickly tried to curry favor. Elder brother, you've become so formidable after your retreat. It's like using a butcher's knife to kill a chicken. Yu Xinhai responded with a shake of his head. It's nothing. It's definitely something. Absolutely worth mentioning. Elder brother, that great mysterious heavenly palm. It's like nothing I've ever seen. So damn powerful. My admiration for you flows like an endless river. Zhu Hong Hong rattled on until Yu Xinhai shot him a glance and smiled slightly. All right, all right. Who did you learn this boot licking from after hanging out with the seventh disciple for so long? He, thank you for your help, elder brother. Without you here, I would have been in real trouble today. Ignoring the flattery, Yu Xinhai inquired, was that eight directions formation set up by the seventh disciple? Zhu Hong Hong chuckled, elder brother truly has keen eyes. Indeed, there's nothing I can hide from you. In the precious Zen robe, did the seventh disciple get it for you? Hearing this, Zhu Hong Hong quickly covered his chest. Please, elder brother, this is my only treasure. However, upon a second thought, considering Yu Xinhai's capabilities, why would he covet the precious Zen robe? His protective forceful energy alone is far more powerful than this robe. So Zhu Hong Hong confessed honestly, yes, the seventh disciple indeed got it from the Temple of Divine Selection. Yu Xinhai shook his head and sighed, the seventh disciple has been kind to you, do not let him down. Without this precious Zen robe, you would be dead by now. Given the losses of the Orthodox sect, and considering Zhang Yuanshan's temperament, I doubt he will dare to attack again. However, it's always better to be cautious. Zhu Hong Hong quickly nodded in agreement. You're right, elder brother. Yu Xinhai glanced at the box nearby. Did the fourth disciple mention when he will come to retrieve this treasure chest? Xu Hong Hong respectfully replied, in three days. He will come to collect it then. In that case, I'll stay here for three days. Yu Xinhai responded, you can stay as long as you wish. Elder brother, talking with you is quite uninteresting. It would be so much better if the seventh disciple was here. Ignoring the comment, Yu Xinhai approached the chest. The green jade sword then appeared in his hand. Xu Hong Hong's eyes lit up with envy upon seeing the heavenly grade weapon, the green jade sword. Under Yu Xinhai's control, the green jade sword gently fit into a slot in the box, with a crisp click, signifying the green jade sword acting as a key. The weapon was ejected, and he caught it with his hand, never missing a chance to flatter. Zhu Hong Hong exclaimed, what a marvelous catch, elder brother. Staring at the chest, Yu Xinhai murmured, master, just how many treasures have you hidden away? Elder brother, with your capabilities, why don't you try to open this box? What if there's an unimaginable treasure inside? Xu Hong Hong curiously inquired. Yu Xinhai replied, shaking his head, since the inception of the evil Sky Pavilion, the master has provided each disciple with a set of martial arts techniques and a weapon. From that point on, the evil Sky Pavilion's fame grew across the land. I wouldn't be surprised by any treasure inside this box. Yes, elder brother, with your green jade sword and great mysterious heavenly seal, you've defeated numerous experts. Later, you founded the Underworld Sect, which is now the top demonic sect in the Great Flame region. The second disciple's mastery of the returning to the origin sword technique was unmatched in the Battle of Shan Yuan City. He even destroyed tens of thousands of precious items. Realizing he might have gone off track with his flattery, he quickly added, while the second disciple's returning to the origin sword technique is indeed powerful, it still pales in comparison to your great mysterious heavenly seal. Yu Xinhai spoke calmly, the second disciple and I have always had our differences, but as the eldest, I naturally won't hold it against him. You should get your people to clean up. Upon hearing this, Zhu Hong Hong immediately started giving orders. In the blink of an eye, three days had passed, and Ming Shireen arrived as expected. He initially planned to fly directly to the Tiger Ridge Gang, but as he approached, he noticed signs of a battle. Was there a fight involving a master? Has that fool, the eighth disciple, gotten himself into trouble? He thought, slightly concerned, and hurriedly flew towards the Tiger Ridge Gang. The wreckage of a flying chariot nearby caught his attention. The chariot bore the name of the Orthodox sect. Just as he was about to inspect it, a member of the Tiger Ridge Gang appeared nearby. Fourth sir, our gang leader has been waiting for you for a long time, the member said. Ming Shireen was slightly taken aback. Been waiting for me for a long time? Yes, 
Yes, the Great Elder instructed us to come and greet you. Upon hearing the term Great Elder, Ming Shireen had a bad premonition. Don't tell me that the master of the underworld sect, Yu Hai, is on this mountain. Yes, it's the Great Elder. Ming Shireen, with a pang of alarm, quickly responded, Well, I just remembered I have some urgent matters to attend to. I'll come back for the box some other time. He turned to leave in haste. However, just then, Yu Hai's voice echoed, Fourth brother, since you're here, why the rush to leave? It's been a long time since we met. Let's catch up here in the Eighth Brother's hideout. I've prepared food and drinks. Wouldn't you break my heart as your elder brother if you left now? Feeling embarrassed and muttering about his bad luck, Ming Shireen reluctantly entered the cave, greeting Yu Hai with a respectful bow. Elder brother, Yu Hai replied with a hearty laugh. Fourth brother, take a seat. Pour the wine. Today, neither of us will leave sober. Hearing this, Ming Shireen waved his hands dismissively. Elder brother, you can drink like a fish, but I'm not much of a drinker. Besides, I came here for the box. I need to retrieve it and report back. So, where's the master's box? Eighth brother, there's no rush, replied Yu Hai, pointing behind him. The box is right here. Sit down first. Naturally, Ming Shireen didn't dare to refuse and took a seat. He thought to himself, it's best not to anger the eldest brother and get beaten up right here. I've heard that you often criticize me in front of the master. Ming Shireen's heart skipped a beat. Who's been spreading such rumors to you? Yu Hai reassured him, relax. If I can't tolerate such small matters, how am I fit to be your elder brother? How's the situation up in the mountains nowadays? Hearing the question, Ming Shireen candidly replied, it's slightly better than before. The master is aging, and there are always those coveting the evil Sky Pavilion, waiting for an opportunity to take a bite. Yu Hai sighed, how is the old man's health? Has his temper improved? He's still robust and can give a good beating. As for his temper, there's been some improvement. I've heard that the master bestowed upon you the heavenly grade weapon, the separation hook, Yu Hai commented. Ming Shireen was slightly taken aback. Your information network is quite extensive. Yu Hai replied with a faint smile, even though I've been away from the evil Sky Pavilion for a long time, I've always kept it in my thoughts. Ming Shireen hesitated a moment before continuing, Elder brother, I've always wanted to ask one thing. Speak freely, Yu Hai encouraged. Ming Shireen earnestly asked, When you were with the evil Sky Pavilion, the pavilion was unmatched. Who dared to insult us then? I'm curious, why did you choose to leave the evil Sky Pavilion? He had previously posed this question to Si Wuya, the seventh brother, but the answer was vague. Yu Hai paused for a moment, then drained his wine cup in one gulp. If I hadn't left the evil Sky Pavilion, there would have been only one path for me, death. The two beside him widened their eyes in shock. Was it really that serious? Forget about it. Let's drink. Yu Hai dismissed. With no other choice, a befuddled Ming Shireen followed his lead, drinking one cup after another. Before long, a considerable amount of wine was consumed. Having had their fill of reminiscing in wine, Ming Shireen broached the topic, elder brother, about that box. Yu Hai interjected. If I decided to keep this box, what would you do? I am duty bound to obey our master's orders. Eldest brother, you should be well aware of master's temperament. If I fail to retrieve the box, master will undoubtedly punish me. Yu Hai chuckled upon hearing this. You weren't like this in the past. Brother Si Wuya mentioned your change in his letter, saying you've become much more docile. I didn't believe him until now. Ming Shireen muttered under his breath. Brother Si Wuya sure loves to gossip. Yu Hai said with amusement. He was praising you, not bad-mouthing you. Why take it to heart? The glory days of the evil Sky Pavilion are behind us. Master may be able to hold on this year, but what about the next or even the next decade? I get your point. Ming Shireen interrupted impatiently. I'm aware that the master is getting on in years and won't live forever. I'm tired of hearing this. As long as the master is still alive, let's not discuss things that haven't happened yet. Yu Hai chuckled. Well said. Xu Hong Hong, trying to curry favor, added awkwardly. Fourth brother speaks so wisely. Ming Shireen shot him a look. Eat your food. After a few more rounds of wine, Yu Hai said with a faint smile, if you ever find yourself without a place to go, there will always be a place for you in my underworld sect. Ming Shireen respectfully replied, thank you for the kind offer, eldest brother, but I've heard that the lowest rank in the underworld sects for protectors is of the sixth leaf. I'd rather not join and be resented for it. Yu Hai confidently responded, in the underworld sect, I have the final say. Don't be too hasty in refusing. You never know what the future holds. Having an extra way out is always better than a dead end, don't you think? Ming Shireen paused for a moment, reflecting on the proposition. At that moment, Zhu Hong Hong, trying to capitalize on the situation, chimed in, eldest brother, why not let my Tiger Ridge gang join your underworld sack? Yu Hai waved dismissively, focus on managing your Tiger Ridge gang. After a brief silence, Ming Shireen slowly stood up. The master has ordered me to retrieve the box. I kindly request that you hand it over, eldest brother. Upon witnessing this, Zhu Hong Hong's heart skipped a beat. Fourth brother really has guts, speaking to the eldest brother in such a manner. If he angers him, my small gang won't stand a chance. With these thoughts swirling in his mind, he nervously glanced at Yu Hai. Contrary to expectations, Yu Hai didn't show any signs of anger. Instead, he nodded nonchalantly. You can take the box. Give my regards to the master. Tell him that even though Yu Hai is wandering through the
the world. My heart remains with the evil Sky Pavilion. Relieved, Ming Shireen said, Thank you, eldest brother. I'll relay your message. Eighth brother, I must return to the evil Sky Pavilion now. If time permits, I'll visit often. And with that, he vanished, carrying the box with him. Only after Ming Shireen disappeared did Zhu Hong Hong wipe the cold sweat from his face. He remarked, Eldest brother, the fourth brother really has guts to talk to you like that. If it weren't for his skinny appearance, I'd have hit him. Yu Hai raised an eyebrow, prompting Zhu Hong Hong to quickly change the topic. Of course, you wouldn't care about such trivial matters. It's just a pity about the box. Yu Hai replied with a smile. The box was made from a special material. Even the four protectors couldn't leave a mark on it. The last key to open it lies with our master. It's useless in our hands. Intriguing. If the box is that strong, why not just use it as a weapon? Zhu Hong Hong quipped. Yu Hai's eyes lit up. That's a valid point. If various top-tier heavenly grade weapons can't damage it, the box itself could be an indestructible treasure. Upon hearing this, Zhu Hong Hong smacked his forehead. Everyone was so focused on what's inside the box that they overlooked this simple fact. Not long after, Ming Shireen returned to the evil Sky Pavilion. Junior sister, where's the master? He asked. Little Yuan er replied immediately. Fourth brother, you're back. The master thought you'd be back later and went to the secret chamber. Did you retrieve the box? Ming Shireen nodded with a hint of pride. I ran into the eldest brother, but I stood my ground and criticized him heavily. Knowing he was in the wrong, he had no choice but to hand over the box. Little Yuan er clapped in delight. As expected, fourth brother is always reliable. Both then arrived outside the secret chamber. Master, I've succeeded in my mission and retrieved the box, Ming Shireen announced. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou opened his eyes and asked about the box's condition. Ming Shireen answered truthfully, my brothers didn't make it hard for me. They all tried to unlock the box with various weapons. Now, only the emotional ring is needed to open it. Lu Zhou emerged from the chamber and, seeing the box with only one lock remaining, murmured to himself, to unlock it, we still need the red hand. What's a red hand? Ming Shireen asked, confused. Lu Zhou ignored the question and eagerly took the box back into the chamber. Each side of the box had a slot, with only the emotional ring slot remaining inactive. I hope this legendary mysterious box doesn't contain junk. With a casual wave, Lu Zhou produced the emotional ring and inserted it into the remaining slot. A series of clicking sounds emerged, as if some mechanism had been activated. In a moment, the box split in half, and a series of notification sounds echoed. Ding! You have successfully opened the mysterious treasure box. You have received 1,000 merit points, a Ji Tiandao Peak Experience card, the weapon Brahma Heaven Silk, three refining symbols, and the hexagram separation and convergence avatar. Lu Zhou's eyes widened in disbelief. A Ji Tiandao Peak Experience card, his normally stoic demeanor quivered with excitement. Even if the card only granted 30 minutes of peak experience, it was still an incredibly powerful trump card. After all these hardships, I have finally struck gold. This feeling, it's even more exhilarating than getting a twin blade drop when playing World of Warcraft in my previous life. He grabbed the Ji Tiandao card, overwhelmed with emotion. Recalling past mistakes, he vowed not to use the card unless it was absolutely necessary. The notification for the weapon Brahma Heaven Silk suggested Little Yuan as the designated user. Upon examination, Lu Zhou noted that he had never seen such a weapon before. It seemed irrelevant for him to keep it, especially since it sounded like a piece of cloth. A man's weapon should be more robust. This is perfect. At least I don't have to worry about a weapon for Little Yuan anymore. Refining symbols were described as tools that could refine weapons that have already chosen their masters, a notoriously challenging task in the cultivation world. Many cultivators, after seizing weapons from their enemies, would struggle with those weapons that had previously chosen masters. These weapons often had a high compatibility with their original owners. To break this bond and make the weapon compatible with a new owner, one had to re-refine it. The refining process was demanding, requiring a cultivator to use primal energy to reforge the weapon and specific refining stones to improve the weapon's quality. Given their ability to enhance a weapon, these refining stones were inevitably precious and rare. He remembered when Ming Shireen had killed Zhang Qiuqi and reclaimed the heavenly grade weapon, Life Severing Blade. Without the refining symbol, the Life Severing Blade would merely be a mystic tier weapon. However, after re-refining and designating a new master, it would regain its heavenly grade status. Considering this, Lu Zhou immediately used the refining symbol. The next moment, a fiery red light enveloped the floating Life Severing Blade. This unique flame energy heated the Life Severing Blade until it glowed red hot. Lu Zhou initially thought the refinement process would take a long time. However, not long after, a notification sound chimed. Ding! Refinement complete. You have acquired the unactivated weapon, Life Severing Blade. Typically, re-refining a heavenly grade weapon takes at least half a year, and in some cases, to three to five years, excluding the time spent gathering the necessary materials. Surprisingly, just a single refining symbol accomplished this task now. Lu Zhou nodded in satisfaction. After stowing away the Life Severing Blade, he turned his attention to the last reward, the Hexagram Separation and Convergence Avatar. This avatar was worth 12,000 points, and the cost of the
the treasure box was only 2,000 points. It was a major profit. Without hesitation, Lu Zhou activated the avatar. An intense forceful energy permeated the chamber. The hexagram separation and convergence avatar allowed the user to adeptly channel primal energy through the eight extraordinary meridians. Since Lu Zhou's meridians were already open, the power of the avatar instantly elevated his cultivation level. Previously, he was merely on the cusp of the Brahma Sea Realm with all eight meridians. But now, he was a genuine cultivator in the Brahma Sea Realm with all meridians fully open. As he made his breakthrough, a surge of primal energy energy shot up. Feeling the energy, Ming Shireen began to explain, Little junior sister, there's no need to look. It's probably our master experimenting with techniques from other sects. Little Yuaner was curious. Techniques from other sects? Last time when someone from Evil Sky Pavilion opened their meridians, I thought we were under attack. Thankfully, the master just punished me with meditation. It's clear he's practicing techniques from other sects. This energy surge is at most Brahma Sea Realm. Don't forget, Zwishin Chan was sent to the Western Heaven by Master's Buddhist Fearlessness Seal. Hearing this, Little Yuaner felt a bit embarrassed. Fourth senior brother, you're right. I should go practice. I've been too lazy. While our master, despite his age, works hard, I often waste my days. Ming Shireen chuckled. Little junior sister, the path of cultivation is long and patience is key. Your talent is rare in this world. Perhaps in the future, your senior brothers and sisters might rely on you for protection. Flattered, Little Yuaner replied cheekily, I'm not protecting any of you. She then left without looking back. At that moment, Zhao Yu hurried in. Fourth senior brother, there's some movement in Tangzi Town. It seems someone is targeting Evil Sky Pavilion. Ming Shireen looked puzzled. Someone targeting Evil Sky Pavilion? How did you find out? Although Tangzi Town is near Evil Sky Pavilion, there's still a considerable distance between them. Unless there's something special. People from Evil Sky Pavilion don't usually leave Golden Court Mountain. Previously, to gather information from the outside world, Little Yuaner would go to the Tangzi Town post station. And she hasn't been out recently. Zhao Yu replied, Someone sent us a tip off. The informant is an ordinary person, but I believe there's a mastermind behind them. I sent several disguised female disciples to Tangzi Town to investigate. They confirmed there are unusual activities in Tangzi Town. While the 3,000 cavalry station there aren't a concern, there are also more than 30 robed cultivators frequently roaming near Tangzi Town. Ming Shireen couldn't help but comment, the way you describe them, they sound like restless spirits. But that's not the main point. These robed cultivators are likely descendants of the 10 sorcerers who visited Evil Sky Pavilion. Do they still hold a grudge? After all, they hail from the palace and have many tricks up their sleeves. On the surface, they may fear the power of Evil Sky Pavilion, but behind the scenes, they're likely involved in nefarious activities. Ming Shireen nodded in agreement. Leave this matter to me. How's your cultivation recovery? Zhao Yu responded, about 50%. The clear jade technique has a natural healing advantage. After the master completed the technique, it greatly aided my cultivation. While they were talking, Lu Zhou slowly emerged. Both disciples quickly bowed in respect. Disciple greets master. Lu Zhou glanced at them, noting that after Ming Shireen went to fetch the box, his loyalty didn't waver. Si Wuya and Yu Jinghai are skilled at winning hearts, so Ming Shireen's unwavering loyalty indicated the previous measures were effective. Zhao Yu's loyalty had also increased significantly. Though not yet at 70%, the rising trend was evident. After observing them, Lu Zhou said, I heard your conversation. Ming Shireen stepped forward. Master, these people are ungrateful. On the surface, they seek peace, but behind our backs, they covet evil Sky Pavilion. I volunteer to go down the mountain and teach them a lesson. Lu Zhou shook his head. It might not be that simple. If Moli knows the strength of Evil Sky Pavilion, he would prepare more than just these measures. What do you think, Master? The ten sorcerers are proficient in formations. Wu Sheng and Wu Guan may hide their cultivation levels. Their cultivation level is not less than four leaves. Hearing this, Ming Shireen and Zhao Yu were taken aback. In the cultivation world, there are many low-level cultivators. After reaching the Brahma Sea Realm, one is only considered a beginner. Only after entering the Divine Court Realm can one be considered accomplished. To truly become a powerhouse, one must reach the nascent divinity tribulation realm. The gap between one leaf and three leaves is not significant. However, once reaching four leaves and above, every additional leaf represents a qualitative leap. But master, said Ming Shireen, do we just stand by while they cause trouble under our watch? Hearing Ming Shireen's words, Lu Zhou raised an eyebrow. If the peak experience card wasn't so precious, I could go there alone and crush them all. He then inquired, where is the evil Sky Pavilion's flying chariot? The cloud-piercing flying chariot is parked in the northern chamber. It hasn't been used in a while. Master, don't you have a mount? Using the flying chariot doesn't quite fit your stature. Lu Zhou smiled slightly. A mount can't carry too many people. Since they like causing trouble, I'll take a few with me to play along. The two disciples were visibly excited. Master, are you taking us to show our might? It feels like it's been so long. Just the thought of it is thrilling. Master, I'll have someone clean and prepare the flying chariot immediately. After Ming Shireen left, Lu Zhou turned his gaze to Zhao Yu. Zhao Yu began her training not too late, but her cultivation level is much lower
slower than Yi Tianqin's. She's only at the peak of the Divine Court realm. The absence of the clear jade technique has affected her greatly. Plus, she doesn't have a weapon. By my calculations, both Zhao Yu and Little Yuaner need weapons. Little Yuaner has the Brahma Heaven Silk. What should Zhao Yu use? The Life Severing Blade? It's too bulky and heavy. Would such a weapon seem odd in the hands of a delicate looking woman? He pondered for a moment and then sighed. How's your training with the clear jade technique? Hearing her master's question, Zhao Yu quickly answered, It has improved a lot. My cultivation has been increasing since the clear jade technique was completed. I won't let you down, master. Lu Zhou nodded with satisfaction. It's a pity that you're practicing the clear jade technique and don't have a suitable weapon right now. Hearing this, Zhao Yu immediately knelt. I am already grateful for what I have and would not dare to ask for a weapon. Lu Zhou had made the comment offhandedly, but to his surprise, Zhao Yu's loyalty increased by two points. This unexpected result showed how strict and demanding Ji Tiandao had been with his disciples in the past. He then dismissed Zhao Yu and took out the box that had been split in half, carelessly tossing it into the trash bin. Considering the box could withstand a nameless sword, it was certainly not ordinary. Remembering this, Lu Zhou quickly retrieved it from the bin. Si Wuya, Yu Shanrong, and Yu Shanghai, upon seeing the box, naturally wanted to open it and see what was inside. However, they hadn't opened it. The box had grooves on all six sides. The three grooves on the left combined to form a peculiar shape, and the three grooves on the right did the same, forming a shape identical to the left. The moment Lu Zhou finished assembling it, a notification rang in his ear. Ding! Weapon retrieved. Tear-stained box. Default form. Knuckle duster. Lu Zhou hadn't expected this treasure chest to also be a weapon. After fiddling with it, it transformed into the shape of knuckle dusters. Although there was no display of the weapon's rank, a knuckle duster that could withstand multiple heavenly grade attacks was undoubtedly heavenly grade. However, there wasn't any prompt about who should be the master of this weapon. Previous weapons had suggested owners, but this box didn't. Shouldn't Zhao Yu be the suggested owner? He imagined Zhao Yu using the knuckle dusters and felt slightly awkward. Nonetheless, this was a treasure, at least on par with the life-severing blade. Lu Zhou then stashed away the weapon and proceeded to the main hall where little Yuaner and Zhao Yu were waiting. Disciple greets master. The seventh brother has sent a message. The head of the demon slaying sect, Ren Buping, has also gone to Tang Zi Town. Moreover, the descendants of the ten sorcerers are in the town, intending to steal the golden court mountain barrier. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou's brow furrowed slightly. Is the information from the seventh brother reliable? Little Yuaner, somewhat angered, cursed as she handed over a flying letter from Jian Ijian. It's not just from the seventh brother. Jian Ijian also sent a letter. Master, you see, on the surface, they want peace, but they're up to no good behind the scenes. We should have dealt with them severely. Lu Zhou stroked his beard in contemplation. Both Si Wuya and Jian Ijian have conveyed the same message about the same matter. The strength of the Golden Court Mountain Barrier is well known. Although the top ten masters once besieged Golden Court Mountain and couldn't break through the barrier, if someone tried to steal the barrier using a powerful formation, it would be a different story. Moreover, this involves the descendants of the ten sorcerers and powerful sorcerers. With their profound sorcery skills, they could stealthily steal the barrier without anyone noticing. We need to be cautious in dealing with them. The question is, what excuse should we use? We can't wait for them to actually steal the barrier and then confront them. Why would the evil Sky Pavilion need an excuse? With that in mind, it's better to strike first. With this thought, Lu Zhou gave his orders, hurry up Ming Shireen. Also, bring Fan Xiuwen and Black Rider. Both of them nodded in acknowledgement and immediately began making arrangements. Meanwhile, in the northern pavilion of the evil Sky Pavilion, Ming Shireen was busy cleaning the flying chariot with several female cultivators. The women from the derived Moon Palace curiously observed the process. This was the evil Sky Pavilion's largest flying chariot, named Cloud Piercing Flying Chariot, made entirely of rare materials. It had a length of over a hundred meters and a width of thirty meters. The entire chariot was adorned with intricate patterns and dazzling decorations. At first glance, the design seemed ordinary, but upon closer inspection, the patterns and decorations were systematically placed. When infused with primal energy, they produced stunning effects. When flown at night, it appeared like a meteor with a long tail. Small flying chariots, drawn by beasts, could only accommodate one or two people and had limited functionality. This large flying chariot was akin to a moving house. Ming Shireen paced back and forth on the flying chariot, feeling a bit frustrated. There were not enough hands. How could the flying chariot fly? Such a massive flying chariot would need at least 30 Brahma Sea Realm cultivators and five or more cultivators of the Divine Court Realm. Additionally, over 20 Brahma Sea Realm cultivators would be needed as replacements. For ordinary small cultivation sects, having even one Divine Court Realm cultivator was a tremendous achievement. Brahma Sea Realm cultivators were considered the backbone of these sects. In the past, when the three major sects collaborated, only a dozen or so Divine Court Realm cultivators were selected from tens of thousands of disciples to besiege Master. However, they were all defeated in a single move. The three sects were furious and bore a grudge against the evil Sky Pavilion for their heavy losses. He then asked one of the
the female cultivators. How many of you are from the derived moon palace? And what's the highest cultivation level among you? The female cultivator replied, Sir, we have 10 at the mystic and lightning realm, 10 at the sense condensing realm, and 20 at the Brahma sea realm. Ming Shireen looked a bit speechless. No one in the divine court realm? The female cultivator shook her head. We originally had three divine court realm cultivators. One defected, and two were killed by the demon slaying sect after an incident with our palace master. Ming Shireen remarked, even Yi Tianxin's derived moon palace has traitors? Is it not managed well? Hearing this, the female cultivator quickly replied, that's why the princess established a rule. Those who join the derived moon palace must forego personal romantic relationships for life. Ming Shireen raised his eyebrows, that strict? Ming Shireen scratched his head, looking somewhat perplexed. Only 20 have reached the Brahma Sea realm. We're still short in numbers. This is a bit tricky. Some flying chariots require external hovering to infuse primal energy, but this needs cultivators capable of flying. Cloud-piercing flying chariot can be infused from the inside. The problem is that we are understaffed. Just then, Pan Zhong and Zhou Jifeng approached. Sir, did you summon us? Ming Shireen grinned. Perfect timing. What do you think of this flying chariot? Pan Zhong's eyes sparkled with admiration. The cloud-piercing flying chariot is legendary. Our lord traveled across the Great Flame and Northern regions with it, gaining fame everywhere. Ming Shireen said, Great, wanna ride? I can tell you're eager. It's okay, help out later. Even the best flying chariot is wasted if it can't fly. The two men looked taken aback. Is something wrong? Do you have objections? Both hurriedly replied, No, no, we're very willing, nodding their heads in agreement. One was Zhou Jifeng, the former top disciple of the Heaven Sword sect with a divine court realm cultivation. The other, Pan Zhong, was from the Clarity sect. While both were slightly stronger than the average divine court realm cultivator, they still lacked manpower. Should we ask little junior sister? Nah, she seems to be in a bad mood lately. Hua Wudao won't work either. He's now an elder of evil Sky Pavilion and has reached the Six Leaf stage. Having someone of his status pull a flying chariot is beneath him. As Ming Shireen was contemplating, Zhao Yu hurried over. Fourth senior brother, the master is urging us. Ming Shireen quickly hopped off. Fifth junior sister, we need more hands. With you, we still seem a bit short of three divine court realm cultivators. Before he could finish, Lu Zhou approached with little Yuaner, Duan Musheng, and Hua Wudao flanking him. Fan Shouwen, along with the black rider Yu Chong and Duan Yanhong, were tightly bound and brought along. Lu Zhou glanced at the flying chariot approvingly and commanded, Get on. Ming Shireen bowed awkwardly, Master, Tang Zi Town is not far from Golden Court Mountain. Why don't we walk? Using the flying chariot attracts too much attention. Little Yuaner smirked, Fourth senior brother, are you suggesting the master should walk? Hua Wudao spoke calmly, The cloud piercing chariot is fast. Rumor has it that descendants of the ten sorcerers are in Tang Zi Town. They excel in sorcery and formations. This chariot can avoid the effects of these formations, and can also pursue enemies effectively. Using powerful magic is too draining on primal energy. If we have the flying chariot, we should use it. Ming Shireen stammered, unsure of how to respond. The rest paid him no mind and boarded the flying chariot. Fan Shouwen's face darkened. Even if you capture me, it won't make any difference. She won't bow to your threats. Though I'm the leader of the Black Riders, I've long seen through life and death. Little Yuaner snorted coldly. Shut up. How can a prisoner talk so much? Why haven't we left? Hurry. I haven't ridden the cloud-piercing flying chariot for a long time. Ming Shireen replied with resignation. We still need two more divine court realm for the flying chariot to take off. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhou cast a glance at him. You take the helm. One nascent divinity tribulation realm is equivalent to ten divine court realm. Ming Shireen lamented internally, Really? Why is it always me? Master, I am a key member of the evil Sky Pavilion. Isn't piloting the flying chariot a bit beneath me? Hearing this, Lu Zhou raised an eyebrow. Yu Xinghai piloted for ten years and never complained. Are you more precious than him? I wouldn't dare. Master, Ming Shireen quickly replied. I was just saying. I'll take the helm now. I'm the best at piloting. With that, Ming Shireen cast a malicious glance at his third senior brother. Duan Mushing chuckled. Don't look at me. Master ordered me to keep a close eye on Fan Xiuwen and his two companions. There can be no mistakes. You just steer well. You may seem honest, third senior brother, but you have a devious mind, Ming Shireen said, feeling wronged. He then approached the helm of the flying chariot. Let's go. At that moment, Lu Zhou instructed, Tang Zi Town is not far. Set the speed to the slowest. He then turned to Hua Wudao. The view from the front of the ship is splendid. Old Hua, please. Hua Wudao looked surprised and honored. Thank you, Lord. As Ming Shireen channeled his primal energy into the helm. The array patterns and designs on the flying chariot illuminated brilliantly. The primal energy emitted from the patterns converged into an outward thrusting forceful energy, generating propulsion. The enormous chariot began to slowly ascend. Hua Wudao stood at the front of the ship, overlooking the vast landscapes below. Sunlight pierced through the clouds, offering a truly breathtaking view. Such a beautiful sight inspires me to recite a poem, he mused. But as he began, the flying chariot suddenly accelerated. A cry came from above. Oh no! Old Hua has fallen off. 